control of the game. Um, the the equaliser came from nothing, which kind of sums us up. But we responded perfectly well, um, really well. I thought we I thought um, for the first time, not all season, but I'm proud of the, I'm proud of the week we, we, the players have put in. You know, we've uh, and today was like I say, a tough place to come. But we've, we've showed some different sides. We've, we've changed formation a little bit. Um, Tactically, I think it worked. You know, they, didn't, they didn't get kicked first half, and we were unfortunate to go in like equal in an equal. But uh, we responded really well second half from, from a setback, and I thought we deserved a bit of luck to end the day. Commitment was battling all over the field from, from your team. Yeah, I, I think we've worked hard in, in in every game, but sometimes it's been channeled in not quite the right area. So the, the focus was on hard work. Doing it for your teammates, and, they, and they've done themselves proud today. Like I say it's a tough place to come. They're unbeaten here, and um, you can sense that you know, things are going their way a little bit. And we, we stood up to them. Like I said, so they made the changes, and, and, and you know that's the onus was on them to come and get that second goal at equaliser. I thought we were one of the better teams in the game. Jamie Kirkman showed just while you signed. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. What a goal! Opportunities. And, uh, you know, he should have scored after a minute, to be honest, from the, from the corner. Um, I couldn't believe that he, he had a bit of an air shot, but nothing bothers him. He's a threat. You know, he's he's getting on, but he's he's a great professional. We've missed him, um, and I think lead two defenders are are always wary of him. His movements, different class, the goal itself, lovely header from Jermaine to put him into a good position. But he's still 30 yards out and the ball around his waist. So a great strike. It's a big call also to put Keith Lowe in at the back uh, alongside uh, alongside Troy Brown and not to bring Steve Bennett back. Big call for who? You know, for me it was just a decision. Steve Elliott's been fantastic for this football club. Uh, I mean, you know, but we don't win games and we don't play well on reputation. And Stevie or Keith to move inside, I, I went with what I thought was right and I thought Keith Lowe was actually excellent today. Well. Top of the right place at the right time for your winner. Did he score the winner, did he? Uh, <laughs> good. I said to him before the game, if he's more aggressive, I mean, he hit the bar against Oxford, he hit the bar against Torquay from set pieces. He's a massive threat from set pieces. And I said to him, if he's more aggressive in his game, he'll get that one was not going to hit the bar, that was going to the back of the net. And I didn't realise it was him. I'm delighted for him because he, he was good today. The assistant went to treat with Matt Richards sitting deep and saw it almost being, being your quarterback. Yeah. yeah, I thought we mixed it up well. We, could, we had to compete. You know, John Still, this place was a. If you didn't come here and compete, you knew you were going to get beat. We had to do that today, even with Wayne's team. We had to come and ruffle their feathers, we had to try and get in their faces. We did it, but I thought it also allowed us to have a, an extra pass. I thought Keith, um, some of my two fullbacks, Sido and, and Craig, were excellent as well. It was a good, solid team performance, one that we can now, we can now build on for, for the coming games ahead. We needed that. <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, we did. You know, it's just just what the doctor ordered. Really, we, you know, the gaffer uh, set us the task of going out there, being aggressive, being, uh, you know, having our work rate a lot higher than it has been, especially away from home, and uh, and we've done exactly what he said. And uh, you kept your place in the side, although in a different position. Then how, how did you feel it went alongside Troy there? Um, yeah, I felt really good. Um, you know, we had a, we seemed to, uh, to to you know click together straight from the off really, and. Uh, you know, I think it was a credit to how well we were doing at the back that they had to change their uh, uh, their system at half time. And then talk us through the goal, lethal from a yard. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to miss, miss those. Um, yeah, I think Troy's tried to uh, tried to uh, claim it, but uh, I think uh, I think it's pretty conclusive that I've uh, nodded it in just before it's uh, crossed the line. Well, you scored a few last season, and that's uh, so you've taken a bit longer this season to get off the mark, haven't you? Yeah, just a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, goals are goals are a bonus. You know, we, we wanted a clean sheet, but um, you know we kept it down to one, and uh, it was you know it got hairy towards the end. But uh, but those are things you've got to stand up to, especially in this league, and, uh, and we've done that really well. A special afternoon for you. Yeah, I suppose it is personally, definitely. Um, to get 250 goals, um, my career is great, but um, I think with the position we're in, obviously results, you know, most important. Um, but to get the win and, and the 250 uh, makes it a bit more sweeter, definitely. Talk us through it because it was a bit special. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it got flicked through. I think it fell to Jermaine. He basically flicked it on. He's trying to trying to claim an assist. I said, from 35 yards, you can't have that. And I think I took a touch. It bounced perfectly for me and uh, a bit of volley. It's looped over the goalie. So it's, it's a nice one to get for your 250.
did you look at first? Did you see him off the line and think there's a chance here? Yeah, I mean, I'm one of them. I take chances regardless, and basically, as soon as it bounced, it, it bounced nice. So I was always going to hit it. Um, I was quite a way out, so there's no way I was going to run that far. So. Um, you know, took the chance and it's, it's gone in and I suppose if you don't take those chances and have a go, you know, they don't come off. So um, I was real pleased. Talk us through the t-shirt as well. Um, yeah, just 250 baby on it. <laughs> I was trying to figure out really what to put on it, to be honest. I didn't want to just have 250 on it. And um, I find I've been to Vegas a few times and everyone seems to put Vegas baby and they really sort of mean it. So I thought if I put that at the end of it, it sound quite good. <laughs> but it got you a yellow card. It did, yeah. I, I mean, I didn't take the shirt off. I just wrapped it over the back of my neck. And I mean, the ref has said if I'd have kept it basically in front of me and not gone over my head, then that was it. So it's a bit silly and then obviously then I'm worried because I only need to do something silly you know stand in front of a free kick or anything like that and you could be recorded so um, I had to be a bit careful after that but overall it was a great performance and, and really good commitment from the team yeah definitely that's what the manager asked from us um, the season's been very up and down um, we haven't got going at all um, we've had some good games and then followed up with bad performances so the performance was utmost today um, and we said if commitment desire you know we, we, we listed a few things that we, we needed to do and um, we did a lot of them today, but if not all of them, and that's what, why we've won. And the manager said that you need them every week at this level. Um, and if you can produce that, we've got enough quality in the team that, that should see us through after that. You weren't very happy when you took you off. <laughs> no, I hate coming off. I hate not playing. I'm, I'm one of them players. But I spoke to him after the game, and he, he actually apologised to me. I apologised to him. But it's just a reaction of I just want to stay on the pitch. You know, um, I want to play every minute of every game, and um, just frustrating. But. Obviously, for the good of the team, the manager seen something and he wanted to see the game out. I accept that. You know, the first initial reaction isn't, isn't always great, but um, we, yeah, we spoke after the game and we were fine, definitely. I suppose more frustrating given that you've had the time out with injury. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, I missed a hell of a lot of the season. Um, from sort of all pre season, you work up to, to get going, and 18 minutes in, I'm, I'm out for seven weeks. So it's been frustrating, um, but it's been nice. I've, you know, they've sort of a few sub appearances and. I'm still itching to, to get him starting 11 and he's, he's put me in today and you know, hopefully I'll prepare him.